characters. There are a lot of characters you need to keep track of, so it'll help to separate them into two categories, the good guys and the bad guys. The good guys. King Lear. Lear is the king of Britain in some unnamed time. He's old and wants to give up his power and retire knowing that he is loved. Cordelia, Lear's youngest daughter. She refuses to publicly proclaim her love in Act I and so is banished. She was Lear's favorite and stands by him in the end. King of France. He stands by Cordelia even when Lear disinherits her, marrying her and helping her support Lear in the end. Kent, Lear's most loyal courtier. Lear banishes him for defending Cordelia in Act I. He then serves Lear in disguise. The Earl of Gloucester. A well-meaning noble, Gloucester ends up duped, blind, outcast, and suicidal. Edgar, the Earl of Gloucester's legitimate son. Edgar stays loyal to his father throughout the play. The bad guys. Goneril, Lear's oldest daughter. He lives with her first, but as soon as she's given power, she starts scheming for more. Regan, Lear's middle daughter. She refuses to take him in or care for him in Act Two, and like her older sister, as soon as Regan has tasted power, she starts scheming for more. The Duke of Cornwall. He's Regan's husband, and at least as power crazy as she is. Edmund. Edmund is the Earl of Gloucester's illegitimate son. He's driven by his illegitimate status to scheme against his brother. Oswald, Goneril's servant. When he's disrespectful to Lear, a disguised Kent beats him. The Duke of Albany. He's Goneril's husband. Not an important character at first. He becomes one by the play's end.